hello welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial I am Ashish so this is part 8 of this video series so before proceeding I would like to suggest you to watch my previous videos that is part 6 and part 7 of this video series in that video I just discussed about how can you connect your application with database and how can you work on multiple tables so here I'm gonna discuss about that how can you create hyperlinks and button dynamically in MVC so now you can see my expected output would be this I will create this link or you can say a button and when I click on this button I will just uh, uh, redirect to uh, redirect to this table means it will show the detail of employee so here I have created uh, employee table and it has the department uh, department ID which is the foreign key and my primary table is this department table has the department name okay now let's flip to the visu visual studio here you can see I have created two methods like index and for displaying the de uh, details of the employee uh, here my method is employee detail and I have just passed one parameter that is employee ID here you can see I have just I am just getting a single record with with single uh, or uh, single or default I'm passing this parameter to this to get the single record of employee and now in my custom table I am getting the department name and the address from the employee you can see and now with the help of foreign key uh, I have just uh, uh, I have just got the department name from employee dot department dot department name here you can see and now I have just passed in department and now if you go to view then I have just uh, created the detail page here I'm just displaying the employee name uh, uh, you can see it, it, it comes from model so model dot name model dot address model dot department name okay now come to the index method here I have just uh, got the list of employees from the entity and I have just filtered out the name and employee ID from the employee list okay so basically this is my custom table you can see this is my custom table I have created okay and I am passing this so basically I will have the list of employee ID and name okay now come to view now here I have the list so I will just create model I enumerable and uh, what is your project name right here dot models dot I'm gonna because I have just passed my uh, employee view model so I will use this so I just put in I in rebel because I have just passed the list of employee not a single record and if you see I have just passed the single record of employee that's why I did not use here you can see I in rebel I, I have not used okay so now come to index and now fulfill our objective so here I will just make a uh, sorry if if model okay is uh, is not equal to null okay so this is the way of handling ex exception if model does not have any details then it will throw exception okay so first step is to check whether there is a data in uh, model or not so now I will create a another list and in, the, in that list I will create 
several links not so this this list would be uh, created dynamically so now here I'm gonna loop through each item in model so I will just put at the sign and I will check I sorry where item in my model okay okay so in model has consisted a lot of uh, employees record uh, list of records you can say so here in in the general HTML format I'm just uh, gonna create the hyperlink okay so here I'm gonna use anchor href equals okay so put a backslash and your what is your controller write your controller name test slash and what is your method name so I'm gonna copy it here okay and now uh, this consists a uh, parameter also so I will just copy employee ID and I will just paste it here equals and I will pass ID dynamically so I will just put item dot uh, employee ID okay and now in this section I will display the name so so I will have the item dot employee dot name okay so now here you can say Uh, just delete this okay now let's run this application and let's see what's gonna happen here now here you can see uh, I have just put uh, the breakpoint here okay now I will just uh, press F10 to move forward okay so I will uh, I will get the employee list here you can see I have four count okay so I will just get address in department name and employee ID and employee name okay I am just filtering out the employee name and employee uh, ID and just continue it okay and now go to view so here I will I will got the uh, I have just got the list of employees okay so now let's uh, use the bootstrap feature or bootstrap classes so if you are new to bootstrap then definitely I would like to suggest you to watch my bootstrap tutorial uh, I will just put uh, put the link in the description okay so that you can watch my bootstrap tutorial also so here uh, I will put this class uh, list group so list group and also I will just put the class list group here you can put the list item okay and here also you can put a class okay so now here you can uh, simply uh, you are uh, here I'm just displaying a link okay so it will be converting into button so I will use bootstrap button bootstrap classes to in order to generate button okay so button block and button let's say primary so in bootstrap uh, you can just decorate your anchor okay so now let's refresh it 
okay just remove the breakpoint and continue now here you can see your button so it consists the all you can s you can see in the table it just display the all uh, employee employee ID employee name department and address so now if if you see uh, if you see at the bottom left corner then in uh, at the behind that you can see the link localhost slash test slash employee details and and I have just passed parameter employee ID and now I am just gonna put a breakpoint here and I will just click on uh, suppose John okay so John ID has passed inside the parameter and now I will just uh, use breakpoint here now I am getting the employee okay employee ro record see its address so here I am getting a single record by passing the ID and now I will get its all detail here its address name and de uh, department name from department table now I just remove the breakpoint and let's continue it now here you can see the employee name John address okay now go back and just get the record of Ashish so you can see employee name Ashish address India and department IT okay so now this is uh, uh, this is uh, the HTML that I have used and now I am just going to use HTML helper so in the later video session I will discuss in detail so I'm just gonna use its extension method that is action link okay now I will just create a uh, link with uh, action uh, HTML helper so you can see I can pass test or uh, action name and action name so so in order to get text so I uh, I will just use item dot uh, its name okay now you can see the second parameter is action name so action name my action name would be uh, this employee detail okay so I have just passed employee detail here so put it into the double quotes okay and now you can see it has nine overloaded method so if you uh, if you put a comma then you will you can see object route value so how can you pass the parameter in this way so I have to pass employee ID okay so just I will pass employee ID equals to uh, sorry item dot employee ID where is employee ID employee ID okay now let's let's go back and let's refresh it now again you can see the same output here now how can you uh, put class here so that you can decorate it so if you put a comma then again you can see the fourth parameter you can pass object HTML attribute here so put a new and pass at the rate class equals to uh, I'm just gonna use this one copy and just refresh it you can see also you can just put uh, change the button color here 
in order to make it attractive so there are a lot of uh, option button option in bootstrap I would like to suggest you to watch my bootstrap tutorial also okay so here you can either generate through ht your custom html or with the html helper okay so we will discuss this later and now uh, you can just click on john here so i got the john detail okay so i have just created this hyperlink using this and now if you just hover on it then at the bottom left corner you can see uh, the URL pattern test employee uh, I am passing the employee ID equal to 2 so if I click on this then you can see the URL so in HTML helper you just passed your uh, text then your method name and your URL par parameter so it may be optionals okay so in this way you can generate your hyperlinks in order to call uh, different methods present in the controller or you can say in the different controller you can call any method with your uh, hyperlinks so it is basically used for uh, doing uh, various operation like edit uh, delete so we will generate in later video session uh, so that you can understand uh, how can you create your form and how to delete update uh, your your uh, employee details so we'll discuss in later video session okay thank you very much for watching and uh, if you really like then again give a thumb and give a thumbs up and uh, comment if you have any problem then please comment and subscribe my video thank you very much have a great day